If you have kids that play sports, hockey, football, lacrosse, anything like that, you know how smelly their equipment can get. It's absolutely disgusting. So I'm going to build a box that will hopefully uh, sanitize the equipment, kill the smell in it uh, without having to wash it. Because certain things like skates and helmets you can't really throw in a washing machine um, or get really wet. So I'm hoping this system that I'm, I'm building is going to do a good job of cleaning all this stuff. This is the steel cabinet I'm going to be using for my sanita ozone sanitizing station for my boys hockey equipment. Um, just an old steel wardrobe I think it is from the 70s that I picked up on the local buy and sell. I imagine it's going to work for the first go around and I'll find something better. Um, this unit itself, there's some wood shelves that the previous owner put in it that I'm going to use for the first couple tries, but I want to put some expanded mesh in it. Um, and I'm going to have to put some weather seal all around the outside to kind of keep this locked up. This is the Mountain Peak 10,000 MG ozone generator I'm going to be using. Um, it's a pretty basic unit. This one I bought the larger um, one. You can get smaller units. Really the only difference is this one has one extra ceramic plate in it. So you can do larger rooms if you're trying to use it for smoke damage or pet smells, things like that, musty basements. Um, you can always turn the power up and down. So I thought this one's going to be multi-purpose. I'll try using it in my sanitizing station here. Um, but as you can see, it's basic. You can set the timer from zero up to 120 minutes. If you're doing a big room with uh, smoke damage, you can put it on the hold feature and it'll just keep going until you turn it off and then down here you can turn it from the 10,000 mg up down to the 5,000 if you're doing a, a smaller space um, so it's just a steel cased unit on the back you have a circulation fan and your power port and on the bottom you have your two replacement ceramic filters uh, it seems to be a good unit from its reviews on Amazon, I picked this one up for, I think it was 110 bucks Canadian. And I think it's going to do the job. So uh, let's get this thing put together and see if it can't clean up that hockey equipment. I'm just going to drill a hole through the back of the box here so I can get the power cord out through the back. I'm just going to cut it out a little bit bigger now. And that's through. We'll just clean that up a bit. I'm just going to fit this rubber grommet into the hole here to protect the cord so it doesn't get chafed and cut through on any sharp edges on the side. But first I'm just going to take a little X-Acto knife, cut a spot out for the cord to go through and just slice it because it is a pretty big piece for the cord. So I'll just have to cut it up a little bit and then we'll feed that through. that put it through and just put this into the cabinet there you go it on it and now protect the cord I hope anyway
I have my uh, machine down here, uh, my ozone generating machine, and uh, we got it, get it all ready to go to hook it up, and we're going to get get it going here and see if this won't kill the smell on this stuff because honestly my 13 year old he reeks it's bad so i'll close it up get the ozone generator fired up here this is my first try and we'll see how it works okay we got it all plugged in ready to go let's fire it up i'm going to put it on for uh, 20 minutes see how it goes and we'll come back and see if the equipment still stinks Close that off. And there we go. Ugly cabinet. I will find something better. This is just the first trial run to see how it goes. And uh, we'll come back in 20 minutes and see if the equipment still stinks. Okay, let's open this up. I've ran it for two cycles now. Um, First cycle, you could still smell the equipment. It had a pretty good funk to it still. And I've ran it a second time. The problem with this cabinet is right now that bottom half is just wood shelves. I'm going to put some uh, wire mesh shelves in. That way the ozone flows through the cabinet a little bit better. It will become a little more effective. And at this point, I don't have any weather stripping around the edge. So you are getting a lot of it leaking out. Um, but all in all, I've ran it now for 40 minutes. And the equipment is much better, much tolerable. Um, the gloves are smelling pretty good. There's a little bit smell still in the elbow pads, but the shin pads, helmet, skates, and uh, shoulder pads, along with the pants down in the bottom there, they're much, much better. So hope this helps you guys out. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the video, please hit the subscribe button, um, turn on your notifications, and leave a comment down below. And hopefully your hockey equipment um, if you can do this, we'll smell much better.